Sarcosuchus and Dinosuchus, two powerful ancient reptile monsters, present a fascinating hypothetical scenario. Which of these prehistoric giants would likely emerge victorious? Sarcosuchus was a prehistoric crocodiliform that lived during the early Cretaceous, 133 to 112 million years ago, in what is now Africa and South America. Despite its strong resemblance to crocodiles, it is not considered a genuine crocodile or even a true crocodilian. Sarcosuchus roamed the earth in the distant past, well before what we believe to be the emergence of true crocodilians. Dinosuchus was an extinct genus of crocodilian that dominated the waterways and maze-like river networks of North America between 82 and 73 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Dinosuchus is considered a member of the crocodilian group, but it is more closely related to American alligators than modern crocodiles. Size When it comes to size, it's important to correct some common misconceptions. Sarcosuchus, often believed to be extremely large, was not as massive as some might think. It reached lengths of about 30 feet or 9 meters and had an estimated weight ranging from 3.45 to 4.3 tons. The earlier estimates that claimed lengths exceeding 39 feet are outdated and inaccurate. Dinosuchus, by current estimations, measured around 33 feet or 10 meters in length and weighed approximately 5 tons. Protection Regarding their protective features, both reptiles are well protected. Sarcosuchus had a series of bony plates, known as osteoderms, running along its back. These bony scutes served not only as a form of armor, but also potentially provided structural support for its massive body, though they might have limited its flexibility to some extent. Dinosuchus's back was covered with unusually large and deeply pitted osteoderms, some of which had a roughly semi-spherical shape. Hunting Strategy Young Sarcosuchus had a long and narrow snout that resembled that of fish-eating gharials of India and was characteristic of fish-eating species in general. However, as it matured, its snout broadened significantly. This change, coupled with non-interlocking teeth, led to the hypothesis that fully-grown Sarcosuchus had a more generalized diet, similar to that of Nile crocodiles. Yet, a 2014 skull biomechanical analysis proposed that Sarcosuchus might not have employed the death-roll hunting technique observed in modern crocodilians. Sarcosuchus had an overbite, resulting from its noticeably longer upper jaw which left a gap when its jaws closed. This overbite, along with its unique snout evolution, makes its precise hunting methods a subject of ongoing scientific inquiry. It's possible that as Sarcosuchus grew larger, it broadened its diet to include a range of prey, including large fish, small dinosaurs, and other terrestrial animals. Dinosuchus possessed banana-sized teeth, a broad skull and elongated heads that ended in a bulbous tip, adding to the fascinating complexity of this ancient apex predator. Dinosuchus employed a unique hunting technique known as the death roll, which allowed it to efficiently immobilize and dismember its prey, which implies a more sophisticated and lethal approach to capturing prey. This ancient predator was believed to have hunted large dinosaurs and marine turtles. The possibility of interactions between Dinosuchus and dinosaurs is one of the most intriguing mysteries surrounding this species. Although there is still no concrete proof, Scientists have discovered bite marks on dinosaur fossils that uncannily match the size and shape of Dinosuchus' teeth. Who would win? In a hypothetical clash between Sarcosuchus and Dinosuchus, both ancient reptilian giants had distinct features. Sarcosuchus, while not as massive as once believed, showcased a unique snout evolution, hinting at changing dietary preferences over its life. However, its hunting methods remain debated due to its distinctive snout structure, and the absence of the death roll technique. Dinosuchus, with a more robust skull, specialized hunting techniques, and higher bite force, would likely win in a fight due to its size and predatory skills.